Welcome to the presentation on acupuncture treatment part 4. Here we discuss about different types of acupuncture treatments. This is a product of captureideas.com. When you normally think of acupuncture, you think of a person sitting with several needles inserted into his skin, into his parts of the body like ear, the arm or the wrist. This is a good picture of a patient that is having an acupuncture treatment. These treatments last anywhere from a very short time up to 30 minutes or more depending on the symptoms that are being treated. These needles are more frequently inserted just far enough into the skin to firmly keep them there. Acupuncture practitioner may insert different needles depending on the treatment plan. Sometimes the needles are twilled in the place or they are warm before insertion or even heat is applied to them during insertion. Generally there is no discomfort when a needle is inserted, manipulated or removed. Occasionally a slight twing may be felt but not more than that. Often during the treatment a patient may feel more relaxed comparatively. They may even feel slightly warmer or possibly feel a rush of energy during the treatment. Some patients feel no change during the acupuncture treatment, but their symptoms gradually change over a period of time, maybe after several weeks. There are some variations of acupuncture that do not rely on the use of needles. The idea behind this are identical with standard acupuncture technique. Knowing the acupuncture points, the organization of the body and the importance of proper energy flow for a healthy body are all exactly identical to standard acupuncture therapy. The main difference is that the needle is replaced by a different technique to manipulate the acupuncture points. The sonopuncture, a device that produces sound waves, is applied to the point at which the needle would normally be inserted. In addition to sound wave producing device, other vibrating devices like tuning forks are used. There will be a good deal of activity in this area, but the results using these dividers are not very well established as that of a traditional needle based acupuncture. Another technique that has been in use since the middle of this century is to apply a low voltage electricity current to the acupuncture point. This may be coupled with insertion of a needle or just by touching a small wire to the surface of the skin and passing a very low electric current. The feeling of current is very light, like tingling. No other noticeable or painful reaction are seen. This technique was pursued independently in America and Europe in the 1930s and 40s. But interest in this technique as a part of western medicine waned after that time. Another variation of acupuncture which many people have heard is the use of acupressure. In this technique, no instrument is used, just the technique of pressing a finger on the acupuncture point. This technique can be incorporated into such manipulations as shiatsu massage. A layman can adopt this technique because it is so easy. Many have seen little cards with diagrams on pressure points on the hands and feet. Though this may be useful, the person who understands the entire system of acupuncture and identify the acupuncture points can do better. Acupuncture therapy has been extended beyond needles and interest is continuing in using other instruments. Other techniques include the use of heat, a very traditional choice, friction, magnets, suction and the ultra modern use of laser beams. Acupuncture is a very adaptable therapy which yields very good results. Vision without glasses If you want to reverse myopia, hyperemia and other serious conditions and at the same time restore your vision naturally without expensive and harmful surgery then you don't want to miss this insight I am going to present it here. You know, you already have the ability to get the perfect vision naturally. 
to overcome the hidden danger of glasses and its after effects the method was discovered and revealed the secret to restore near perfect 2020 vision naturally the method applies to almost all visual problems including near sightedness that is myopia lazy eye amblyopia cross eye that is strabismus and macular degeneration eye strain dyslexia astigmatism hyperopia that is far sightedness presbyopia that is old age sight cataract tension headache light sensitivity poor night vision glaucoma and many more for more information please visit the website by clicking on the link below in the description area this may be your valuable asset thank you very much and if you have any question you can post it in our blog at captureideas.com